Hi guys. Hello. This is Donna from Donna's Creative Space. I am just trying to get set up, make sure I'm in the right spot. Let's see. Boy, it looks like it's a little, I don't know, my, my camera's not showing the same thing that I can see on my Facebook page, but we're just going to have to make it work. Okay, so I have something to share with you today. I am going to show you this fun stamp set. It's called Zany Zoo, and my class this month this half a month. I do a half of May. Let me see if I can move this up a little so I have plenty of room to stamp. And, um, okay. So there's my host code for May 2nd through the 15th. I did, instead of May 1st, May 2nd, because the new catalog has come out. And this is what the cover looks like if you haven't seen it yet. This is our new catalog. It goes from May through next April 2024. I'm very excited about it. All right, so I have a card that I'm going to make with you today using this. And when I first saw this, I thought, oh, I don't really need that stamp set. It's too cutesy. But you know what? It's too cutesy. And I love it. And wait till you see what you can do with the paper. Now, it does have a die set that actually cuts out. Now I'm going to open this brand new pack. I have several packs opened already because I'm doing this for my card class to go this first half of the month. But I want to show you this paper because it's really cute. One side is all black and white and the other side of these cute little images. And you may think, oh, I don't like that. But you know what? Once you start creating this, with this you will love. And let me show you my cards. Now my cards are all stamped and die cut or fussy cut. Now this one, I stamped these two images, right? So this is my card class to go. Oops, it's missing one. And um, if you shop with me between now and May 15th, through May 15th, you will get and spend $50 or more and use this host code U4G24BMB, which I put in the comments or the description of this video. So you should be able to just click on that link and it'll actually bring you right to that host code. So you can start shopping. A lot of people have trouble finding where to put the host code. And if you are starting from scratch, go right to your cart. And once you see my, my name and picture that you're shopping with me, there'll be a little spot underneath that says, I think it says apply host code. Click on that. Then you enter the this host code u 4 g 24 bmb and then you hit apply, all right? So these are my four cards that you'll get a kit to make two of each of these. You do need, do need the stamp set. I can't, I can't um, um, stamp for you. It's against demonstrator policies, stamp up policy. But these two images are also in the paper, so you could certainly just cut those out. I'm going to give you like this die cut um uh, tag, right? And then here's another one. And I will give you this die cut tag. I'm going to tie all your bows for you, give you all the ribbon. I'll cut these three balloons. So you'll have to stamp this image, right? Or, or, or you, oh, actually, no, you can, you can stamp it. You can stamp it. I stamped it and colored it in, but you can fussy cut, you can fussy cut. Um, and let's see, do they, where are the dies? Some of them have dies. Okay, they are. So, so we do have a die for the alligator, right? We have the die for the alligator, the raccoon, the turtle, and then um, I think this is a squirrel, I guess, and then this llama. All right, so we have some dies for those. But so I am um, so here's you can use the die to cut out the alligator. Then here's the little raccoon that you can you'll see he's also in the paper. So you could cut out this guy here. The raccoon, I'll get to, I'll show you in the paper, but I stamped this and colored this with blends. And this one here, I stamped the turtle and colored it with blends, but I believe he might be in the paper too. So there's a lot of stuff you could just buy the paper and fussy cut and make some beautiful cards. So these are the four cards for my card class to go, my Zany Zoo card class to go for May. All right, so, and if you're not on my mailing list, go to my blog, donnascreativespace.com, 
And I think it's up in the top right corner. There's a spot to enter your email address so that you can get on my email list because that way you'll get to see some of the things that I make and um, links to videos and stuff. So this is the paper. All right, you get two sheets of everything. And um, it comes, let's see, on the back of our designer paper packets, it tells you, you know, how many pieces. So it's 12 pieces. But it also tells you what it coordinates with. So this is basic black. I'm not sure if you can see this with the plastic on it. It co co coordinates with basic black crumb cake lemon lime twist, which they brought that back. That was an in color. Um, and it's brought back lemon lolly, which is a brand new color. Petal pink pool party and pumpkin pie. Doesn't mean those are the only colors that you can use with this. I used granny. The apple green i've used cajun craze you can use other colors but here's the paper it's so cute let me see if i can get a whole page in the image right here let's see how is that i think that's good so on the back are black and white designs so this is a pretty black and white design for this and on this one so here's that raccoon so you could cut him out with the die cut and just color him in He's got the balloons are all colored. Mine, I, like I told you, mine, I stamped. All my cards for this month are stamped, but you could get just the paper and cut it out. And look at the aardvark, like a little koala, elephant, a doggy. So cute. The work is done for you. Now, on the back of this are these stars. And this one here, there's that llama that you could cut out. And um, I think that's a sloth, maybe? A bear. Um, that's either a goat or I don't know all my animals i hate to say this looks like what is that a porcupine no no possum no i don't know um a ram or a goat and the back of that is this we're going to use this one today and then oh i hit the camera sorry about that and then this one here is so cute so you could cut out this turtle my cards for this month i stamped it and colored it in but you can certainly cut this out and color it but look at all these animals and the back of this. And I love the black and white designs. If you like the black and white designs, you'll like this paper. And then here we go. So this one here I did cut out today. We are using the cat today, the hippo, and this little sheep. All right. So the hippo and sheep do not have die cuts. I mean, dies. So we're going to fussy cut those. I actually did the, the sheep already. So this is the back of that paper. And let's see. Did I miss a page? Oh, I think I, hold on a sec. Yeah, so here's the, there's that. And then this last one, look at the little pig. He's got a backpack and he's hiking. Cute, right? Skunk. Then you could do these trees and something, but this paper is so cute. And then this is really cute. And I could see using your blends to color in these flowers. It would be awesome. All right, so that's the paper and it's called Zany Zoo. No, it's called Zoo Crew. Zoo Crew. And it goes with Zany Zoo. All right. And if you're looking in your catalog, here's my catalog. And we're on page 46 and 47. If you're watching me live, say hello. If you're watching the replay, you can also comment. Just let me know you're watching. I like to see. Tell me where you're from, what the weather's like. I am in Massachusetts. It's The sun is trying to come out. It's a little dreary. It's supposed to get nicer. We're supposed to have a beautiful weekend. So hopefully all right so in the catalog page 46 and 47 so there's the paper there's this ribbon that goes with it and oh you know what i think i need a little bit of ribbon for this don't i i'm trying to look at this well i'll have to figure that out i'm gonna have to oh i'm gonna take two seconds because i want to run and get that ribbon pack forgot to bring it in Okay, I'm back. So what I'm trying to do today is I am going to, so this is the ribbon pack. It's called Ribbon Duo Combo Pack. And it is very pretty. There's a skinny, I've used this this past weekend. I went to a creative convention out in Michigan. But I think I'll end up using this because it's nice and skinny. But this has got this skinny, this is lemon and lime, I believe. And this one I'm trying to figure out. Let's see. It should tell us on the next page. Oh, no, it's not on the next page. I'll go to the back of the book and see where the ribbons are. That way, in case you are interested. All right. Oh, hedgehog. That was what that animal was. Gosh darn it. All right. So this paper, 
I mean, this ribbon, it is Lemon Lime Twist. I was right about that. Oh, and Petal Pink. So this is Petal Pink. I was thinking it was Calypso Coral too, but Petal Pink, all right? So it's a duo combo pack, two spools together for $10. And it says 10 yards, 10 yards each. So that's very good. All right, so I'm gonna use, I think I'll use the, the green one, the Lemon Lime Twist. So what I decided to do, since I've already been playing with this set, I am going to make this card here. All right, let me hold it up. So it's on page 46. And I just thought I'd make this one. So there's a die for the curtains. We're using some of the designer paper. And all three of these are cut out of the designer paper. All right, so let me show you what I mean. I have my little bin here. I'm gonna do some coloring. And I've got some memento ink. Do I need the memento? Oh, I don't need the memento ink because I cut them all out. So we had this curtain die and it's the same way. So you just cut two of them. So that's what I did. I did a lot of stuff ahead of time. And I cut a piece of the designer paper. I'll give you the measurements as we go. I have a petal pink base. And this is the new Lemon Lolly. I wanted to show you this because you might be wondering what it's like compared to the other colors. So, oh, I keep hitting, I'm sorry, I keep hitting my camera. I think it's kind of low. Maybe I should go higher. I don't know. All right, so this is the Lemon Lolly. This is Daffodil Delight, and this is Crush Curry. I know sometimes on the videos the colors don't come through, but Daffodil Delight is a true, real yellow, right? This is a light yellow, the Lemon Lolly, and Crush Curry is more of a, a deeper yellow, right? Like a, It's not really mustard, but it's just like a deeper yellow. It's a little darker than the Daffodil Delight. But I wanted to show you the difference in case you thought, well, you know, what do I need Lemon Lolly for? So Saffron retired. I'm very sad about that. I loved So Saffron. It was a nice, light, pale yellow. But we have Lemon Lolly now, so we'll have to go with that. But that's what they look like, what Lemon Lolly looks like next to the other colors, just for your own knowledge. So I've gone ahead and cut out a few things ahead of time. And I'm going to show you. I got my little, I got my Boho Blue mini Stampin' them, stampin' cutting emboss, stamp, stampin' cutting emboss machine, and it is available. It was only available um, to demos for a while, but now it's available to customers as while supplies last. So if you like it, it's one number one six one one zero four and sixty three dollars. So you buy this, and you would get my kit for to make the eight cards for free. Um, but if you have the white one or the big one, either one is fine. But the dies that I'm using today all fit in this. This is this plate is like three and a half inches. So um, you can fit quite a bit of stuff in here. I, I like it a lot and I took it with me when I went away this weekend. And it comes with your it comes with your base all our machines come with the base plates and clear plates and a 3D plate, which um, so here is the set. These are actually from my white one. This is what you get with a new machine, just so you know. Just a new mini machine. The big machine has an extra white plate because it's like a, a thin plate. But these are the three things. You get the, the embossing. This is the um, uh, embossing plate, like a 3D embossing. This is the regular embossing plate. And then, then this is your regular plate for die cutting. And then two clear plates that's what you get in your with your machine the big one the big machine you get the two platform plates okay that said we get this set up because we are going to do a little bit of die cutting so on this card they cut out these flowers and they put them on, on the edge of the card and um, I didn't count to see how many. I just count, cut out a bunch. And I want to show you, instead of using glue, what I used, I used our, where the package go? I used our adhesive sheets. And this is a great buy. Um, I think it's still $11. And you get 12 sheets, and they're really big. There's, I think they're 6 by 12. Yeah, 6 by, yeah, 6 by, 6 by, 6 by 12, yep. Yeah. And um, they're great. So what you do with them is they come like this. Uh, you can cut them apart and you can peel these off and this the sticky back. 
So you're basically making a sticker out of things. So you just take a piece like this, and I just cut my paper down to fit into my machine, and I put one of the pieces on this um, petal pink. And I'm gonna cut a couple more. So let me get out the, the dies. There's one. I don't know whether I need little ones. I've already cut a few. Let me just dump it out. All right, so I've already cut out a few and I already put them on the top right corner because I didn't want this video to be really long and I don't want to lose interest. So she showed you the curtain. So the lemon lolly paper, get rid of that. And I did cut this, this squiggly line, the scallop line, which is good for the top of the curtains, the valance, I guess is what it's called. So I have all this cut out. I have some of these flowers already done, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So I'm just gonna put my, I don't wanna lose anything. Put my plates in here. Hopefully you can see. Wait till my Facebook. Hi, Karen. How is how are things in Iowa? That's a long way away. Thank you for joining me today, Karen. All right, so I'm gonna cut out two more of these um, blossoms because I'm not really sure how much. I think I wanna cut out these and then maybe do one more, one more of the small ones. And you definitely want some sort of pointer. I'm using my take your pick tool which is an awesome tool if you don't have one. So I pop these out. Now remember, I've got the adhesive on the back of these. So I'm gonna do one more small flower. All right, so I got those two out and I'm gonna put that back in there. So I'm gonna do one more small flower, but I also wanna cut out the, um, I think it's a, oh gosh, a cougar maybe? Here, see this little thing? No, leopard, leopard has spots, right? So I put my, um, see she's right here. And I put my dye for that right around her and I use a little bit of mint tape. All right, so I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna cut that out. Now, like I said, the hippo and the little lamb or sheep, whatever, I don't really know what the difference between the lamb and the sheep are. You finally got some warm weather? Oh, good, Karen. We're supposed to get some good weather this afternoon. Not this afternoon. Well, it is supposed to clear up this afternoon, but we're supposed to get nice weather this weekend is what I meant to say. All right, so this little one, poke out the center. And I am looking forward to getting some nice weather. So then they have these little tiny holes in the dye to poke out. All right, so we have that. So we don't need this anymore. So I'm gonna put away, click, click. I love this little machine because it's so good to just, just get it out of the way. All right, now let's make our card. All right, so we put our little animals at the side. We have our curtains. So I have all these flowers and I'm gonna do, so I just glued them with, the, well, I glued them. They have the adhesive on the back and I had a couple go off the edge. Right, let me see, make sure I'm in the image area. So I am gonna do the same thing. Now, what I like to use, they use the take your pick to kind of close to the edge and just kind of peel it up like that. Sometimes you can just bend it and it comes off, right? And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it down randomly. I'll get another small one. Sometimes you just, sometimes you can just catch the edge with your fingernail, but I find that picking it up with the take your pick tool works really well. So I'm gonna put this one like that and have it kinda, of, whoops, whoops. I'm gonna have it kinda of come off the edge. Just adds a little more interest when you do that. And you have things kinda of look like, it looks like it just came that way. And some of these, I'm not doing too many cause they kind of gonna get covered by the other stuff. And you could use those little circles if you want to take the time to try to get the backing off them. I'm not going to. They're just a little too small for me to deal with. But I love this take your pick tool. If you don't have one, you really should. It's, it's a really great tool. I'm gonna to put one more down here, I think. They're great. When I do my, um, my crops, 
when I work at, um, I, I vend at scrapbook weekends. And when I bring the take your pick tool to sell out of my booth, um, I don't, we're not supposed to really sell them out of, because it's not cash and carry, but everybody asked for them. And I had ordered a, a few for class and the class ended up getting canceled. So I just bring them to the, I, I mean, I order them from a class and then it gets canceled. So I bring them to the crop because I want to sell them and get rid of them. I don't want to, I don't need that many of them. I have two of my own. All right. I'm just babbling. Okay. So let's build our little stage. So I have this piece here and I said, I was going to tell you the, now the base, this is five and a half by eight and a half and it scored at four and a quarter. Right. And I creased it. I creased it with my bone folder. Is this one I am getting? Can't remember. Wendy. Wendy, this is the, um, yes, this bundle. You ordered this. Yes, I ordered this bundle for you the other day. Uh, May 2nd, I ordered the bundle for you. So, yes, you are getting it. So, let me just get rid of some of the trash. I didn't realize you were here, Wendy. Nice to see you. Kind of see you. All right. So, this piece of designer paper is three by four and a half. And I'm just going by what they did on the um I can't remember. all right so I got I want to make sure I am paying attention to you guys all right so we have our base done now I think and I I don't know for sure but I'm just going to build this the way I think because it's in the book and it's in the book and I'm just kind of gonna try to make it myself all right so I took a piece of this paper and I think, I don't know what they did, but I, it looks like this whole thing might be up in the air, but I'm going to build it um, the way I, the way I kind of think it goes. All right. So I'm going to take off this piece here and I just let it go to the edge because I wasn't sure how much I wanted. All right. I'm going to rip it off and get rid of this die. And I think I'm going to just make it the same size as this. In fact, what I'm going to do is I am going to put it on the top, right, like this. And I'll line this edge up. Am I out of the image area? Yeah, I was. Sorry about that. Okay, and I'll line that up. So I'm going to put this right on the paper, right on the designer paper, and I'm going to cut off the end. Okay, it's going to be hidden behind the two curtains. And then it looks like the curtains are a little higher. So I will be using dimensionals on these. And I'll put one there, one there. And I think I'm going to cut it in half and put one here and here. Oh, but you know what? It looks like, I can't tell what they're using for the string right there. I It may be this ribbon. I'm going to use it. And in fact, I want to do it now. So I'm going to put, and you know I'm winging this because I haven't made this card before. Put a little bit of adhesive and then get this ribbon. And I'm just going to put a little like this because we just want it to look like it's a tie back, right? Oh, that didn't hit the glue. Come on. Stick down. I need my ribbon scissors. Let's see, is that going to stay? Yeah, I think so. All right, so we have one tie back. And now, let me get rid of this. There's my other ribbon. This will be easy if I do it this way first. All right, and then we're going to put one another tie back, right? Like this. That can go around the back, like that, right? And it's, you don't have to do this part, but it's that little bit of extra on your card that just makes it, it just makes it, right? All right, so we're gonna put the dimensionals on the back of this, oops. Um, I guess I'll cut it in half. You don't. You could probably fit a whole one there. Okay. So let's put the dimensionals. Let's put. There is a tiny die that cuts the dot tie. Yeah, you're probably <laughs> right, Kareen. That's probably what they used. 
Let me look. I didn't even notice it. Oh, yeah, they're right here, and it cuts two at a time. Look at that. That's very cute. If you want them out of cardstock, that's the way to go. But I kind of like my little ribbon ones. Kind of looks like they're a real tie back. Okay. Let's put this on here. Oh, oh, I forgot. We have to put this. It goes on the base. And I don't know whether it's going to... They have it kind of hanging off. I think I'm going to put it a little lower. So I'll, I'll put this here. So we'll see it. Oops, I was out of the image area again, right? They have theirs. I'm trying to decide. Do I want it this? Let's see. I'm going to just check it out, put it on here, and then see how deep it is on my card. I think that's going to look cute, right? And then these will go like that. Well, you kind of see the end of it. Maybe I don't want it that thick. Maybe I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to trim it off. Maybe I'm going to trim off a quarter inch. So now it's down to a half an inch. All right. Then that, then these will go on. Yes. Oh, I like that better. I didn't want it to stick out. They have it sticking out at the bottom, but I don't want it that way. Okay. So this I'm going to put up on dimensionals. So it's going to be like kind of a double layer. You could put it flat, but I am going to put it up. Okay. Let me use this to get these off. Boy, I have too much all around. Things are flying. Oops, I missed that one. It didn't come off. Okay. I still have to color too, but it still shouldn't take that long for this card. All right, so this is going to go on the center of this. So, um, in case you didn't catch that, I ended up cutting down that piece of crumb cake. I don't know if I told you it's crumb cake. So now it's half inch by four and a half. All right. The designer paper was three by four and a half. So now I'm going to put on, oh my God, this is so cute. I'm going to put like our little curtains on either side of our stage. Oh my God, this is so cute. This is adorable. It is kind of high, but I don't mind making things. Whoops. Hmm. I think my crumb cake is a little at an angle because it's kind of peeking out on this side, but that's okay. Okay, so now let's see. We are going to do some coloring. Now, I've already fussy cut the... I'm going to call her a sheep. She could be a lamb. I don't know what the difference is. If somebody's watching and knows. I'm going to call her the lamb with the crumb cake. She's going to be a, like, like a little dirty sheep because I don't want her to just be white. I want her to stand out a little. And this is great for coloring. I love using my blends on this designer paper. All right, um, I guess her legs have to be the same color as her arms. And, oh, you know, I didn't pull out a color for the flower, but I will pull out. This is our bubble bath. I'm going to do, oh, maybe it should be petal pink to match the paper. Let me grab my petal pink. Yeah, petal pink. Yes, it's a good idea to, to kind of use what's in your paper. Oh, I forgot one of her arms. There. And I'm going to do a little bit of petal pink. It'll match our paper. Maybe I'll do her nose. I'm going to do a little... Do I want to get carried away? Oh, I'll do the inside of her ears just like that. 
Uh-oh, her ears. Should I leave them white or should they be? Gosh, I'm looking at this picture. I think I should put a little bit. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do her ears. This is the light. Yeah. I switched to the ballpoint. Not ballpoint, but the, the um, felt tip end instead of the paintbrush end. Oh, yes. Do her ears. Okay, she's done. Now, as far... And I didn't do any... Hmm. Do I want to put some dimension? I mean, depth, or whatever you call it. Some, um, let's just do some, a little bit of blending. So I put a little bit of dark, and then I'm going to go back over it with the light. Just to give her a little bit of dimension. All right. Eh, let me do her legs. And maybe a little bit in her. Okay. I don't, don't want to do too much and go overboard, but it does kind of add, add to your piece. I like it. It's like you can feel like you're an artist. Okay. So she's got a little bit of dimension to her now because the, the little cougar there has it too. So I'm going to fussy cut this hippo because there's no dye for this, but she is just too cute in her tutu not to use her. So fussy cutting is when you're just cutting something out and you're fussy about it. You're going around the edge and I'm leaving um, a hair of white because when you do that, um, it, and you put it on your card, people are just looking at the um, black line. They don't see the white. So it's kind of like a, a trick to the eye. So just leave a little bit of white. I'm trying to kind of keep it even. Sometimes you can't. And if you notice, my scissors, my pair of scissors doesn't move that much. It's really my, um, my left hand is use, moving the paper. And I know it's probably hard for you to see, but I can't cut like this. I have to have it turned towards me. But, because I have to be able to see. And I love our paper snips for fussy cutting because they're nice and small and they're so sharp. You have to be careful of them. And just lob off some of the paper if it gets in the way. And at the, well, after I finish, I go back and see if I have too much white in one spot. Just to kind of clean it up. And I'm going around her little bows, little ties on her ballet shoes. She's just so cute. I love this paper. And you know what? If you looked at this set and said, oh, I don't need this. It is so cute. And it's not just, you can make a bunch of great little kids cards but i think adults would like these too it's just so cute okay and that's why i did my may class so i'm going to take a little bit of white off of here but so just be sure use the link that i put in the description so that you can get this card class for free i'll show it again at the end of the video all right so we have to color her so i'm going to use the new lemon lolly and I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to put her, the belt. Oh, I wanted you to do the little dot on the, the center of the flower in the yellow. Now, she's already colored from the paper. I didn't do that. Her flower was this pool party, and um, she's already colored. So I'm going to put a little bit of the dark lemon lolly. And then I'm going to go back in with the light. So we'll get a little bit of depth on her skirt by me doing that. A little bit of definition. All right. And then I'm going to do her little shoes. Oh, she's so cute. Look at that. Right? Very cute. Okay. The hippo. Well, I'm going to, while I have the lemon lolly out, I'm going to do the center of that. And she's kind of got the petal pink skirt. So she's already colored. Her skirt and flower are already colored. And I'm going to color her with um, smoky slate. So I'm going to take the dark smoky slate. Oops, not that end. And I'm going to put a little bit of, little bit of um, 
dark here and there. And I'm going to just do a little area at once. Oh, this point isn't very good. I'll have to switch over to this side. Sometimes I used, like to use the um, brush point for coloring in a large area. I don't know what you guys are doing this weekend, where you are. The Boston Celtics have playoff game three. My friend is coming over tonight and we are going to watch it together. And, um, yeah, they're playing Philly, and it's tied one game to one. So we just won the other night. And, oh, my God, it was such a good game. All right, so now I'm going to do, let's see, where, where do I want to put? Maybe on the underarm, under her neck, maybe, maybe right down here. Okay. And it's supposed to be a nice weekend. Tomorrow's my mom's birthday. So I'm going to go visit her at the nursing home. Maybe bring her a little cake and some flowers. I know I'm babbling, but I'm doing it because it's, I don't want you to be so totally bored watching me color. <laughs> Not that my little stories are anything interesting. I'm surprised, Ellie, you're not watching. Usually Ellie's here watching me. Ugh, I have to get another. I do have another gray. Let me look at it. This one. Let's see if the point on this one's any better. Oh, oh yeah. Much better. I like using the much better for doing larger areas. Okay, and her head. Is this the dark? Yeah. Um, I don't know what I want to do on this. Maybe I'll just put a little bit of dark on the bottom of her. I don't want to do too much. I don't want a cute and fun card. I am a baseball and hockey fan. Minnesota Twins and Wild. Yeehaw. Oh, yeah. Karen, the, I was so bummed. Sunday night I was on the road home from Michigan. So I couldn't watch the Boston Bruins in their playoff game, and they lost, and now they're out of it. I was very bummed. But, so you like baseball, Minnesota Twins. Yeah, I did watch some of the Red Sox game last night. Patrick and I went to my son's new apartment. Him and his girlfriend had us over. Did I just color that in with dark? I think I might have. Her head looks awful dark. I think I might have done the... Oh, this is what happens when I talk. But we went to my son's for his birthday. It was very nice. We had fun. Okay. I believe I'm done coloring. Oh, I should have made the inside of that one. Petal pink. Let me see if I can do that over again. So we watched... The end of the Red Sox, they won. They swept that series. Okay. That was with the Blue Jays, I believe. God, I can't remember. All right, I'm making sure, if you, I was doing this to all my blends because you wanna make sure you hear like a, uh, they're all closed. You wanna hear like a, after you put them together, you wanna hear a, a click. Make sure the alcohol, you do not want them to, um, dry out. All right, so I got to put those back with my card class to go. This can go over here. All right, so we have our little people, our little animals. Aren't they cute? So now we can finish our card. We do want to sit. Now I went ahead and stamped the sentiment. I'm going to do it again just because so that oh, I don't know where the little piece of white went to though. Maybe I'm not going to do it again. Is it in my little bin here? No, I dumped out the bin. All right, well, I am going to, I'll cut another piece because I want to, but I cut the, I, I, I cut a half inch piece. So usually I have them left over when I cut this, the four by five and a quarters, you always end up having like half inch strips left and I save some. I don't save them all because I just go through, I have so many of them. 
So I am using the stamp that says something great to celebrate you. All right. And um, in uh, in the catalog, they just cut off the bottom pot and, and, and said cut off the um, they cut off the something great, too, and left celebrate you. I want to put the whole thing there. Like I said, I've already stamped it, but I'm going to do it in person. And I'm going to stand up for this. Let's see. Okay. Just so you can see the whole card. Done. Oh, and that's Calypso Coral. And I used, I don't, if you guys don't have this H um, block, acrylic block, this is a great one to have because it, it's good for sentiments and, and skinny, skinny things. But it's a nice one to have in your arsenal, your crafting arsenal. So I am going to cut these, the sides at an angle. Just like this. So I have that done. Here's my spare. All right, so now we can put all these on here. Oh my God, they are so cute. So they're gonna go on dimensionals, but they're not gonna be any higher than the curtains, all right? And if you don't want to have two depths of, see how I have two depths? This background piece is on dimensionals and this curtain's on dimensionals. If you don't want two depths, depths of dimensionals, Florida Par Panthers really stood up well against the Bruins. They are 2 0 against the Maple Leafs. I'm cheering on Seattle Craig and Eve. Oh, good for you. Oh, yeah. They did stand up well against the Bruins. All right. So, so if you don't want, sorry, I got sidetracked. <laughs> I like talking to people. So, if you don't want two depths, you can put this base piece flat against your card base. All right. So, I'm going to put them on dimensionals, but I'm going to start with the. Our little, oh my God, this is so cute. I can't get over it. All right, I'm gonna start with our, um, what did I call this? A leopard, right? Because it's got spots. And I wanna get some thin pieces just to do, whoops, come on, to do the legs. So you don't want ba watch basketball, huh, Karen? I used to watch a lot of basketball. Then I stopped for a while, but I'm very excited to say that I'm back into watching. All right, so that's me and my son were texting, and Patrick was too. We were texting back and forth during the playoff game. What was it? Oh, Wednesday night. It was so funny. Sometimes I forgot who I was texting to. Has it ever happened to you and you, you write to the wrong, the wrong person? All right, so she went on with all dimensionals but this little girl here i'm going to put adhesive behind this side of her skirt i have to find my adhesive right because i want that flat and then i'll put dimensionals geez these dimensionals i'm just noticing that these dimensionals are a little thicker i think these were from a paper pumpkin kit because they, they feel a li slightly thicker than our normal ones. So she's got, oh my God, this is so cute. Oh, I got some adhesive showing. Get that out. Oh my God, you guys. I just can't even. <laughs> All right, so the little hippo girl. I want her, let's see, she's going to maybe go this way. Oh yeah, she's going to go, oh gosh, maybe, she, maybe I should have put the... The, this um, leopard over a tiny bit. Let me see if I can pull her up without ruining anything. Yeah, I'm gonna put her a little bit off center. So the <laughs> hippo needs a little bit more room. Let's see if that is before I press her down. Uh, I don't know if I, I moved her over enough. Cause she can kind of fit right next to that. Okay, that's good. Oh my God, this is a two. Yep, that's gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna put adhesive right here. Oh, you like college level? I do like watching college basketball. It's kind of fun to see them when they're young like that. I loved watching my son play ball. He didn't do college, but he played, oh, ever since he was little, he played baseball and basketball. And then he um, did both. Well, no, in 
high school, he played basketball and he started football, which was a little scary, but it was okay. I'm gonna put the, her down a little bit so that her hand is not on our pretty little. Oh my God, this is so cute. All right, and so this we're gonna stick down here. And because it's so high, I think if I made this again, I would put the flat piece. You know what? I'm going to do it right now because I really, I don't think I like it this high. So I am going to change it because I know if I say, oh, later on I'll fix it. I won't. So I'm going to do this. So if you are making this card, you might like it that high, but I just don't, I don't know. I don't think I like it. So I'm going to take the dimensionals. This is an adhesive remover if you don't have one. They're really great. You can get them on Amazon. Um, it's great for, I don't, I mean, you could keep going and get off this little film, but I don't need to because um, it's going to get covered up with adhesive. But if you wanted to, but it's really good for getting off I wish Stampin' Up! sold them. Oh, I cut this designer paper one out. Cut it a little bit. Good thing it's going to show. All right. I want this flat now, so I could put it on with um, glue. But, all right. Put it on the right way. Yeah, I think it's better flat. So if you decide to make this, I really like the touch of the flowers in the background like that. Make sure it's centered. Um, being flat, the same color on the base of the card is really... Okay, let me do it this way. I made a mess. I love the adhesive remover. You have two. Yeah, I have a bunch of them too. I, I keep buying them because I... So when I go to get them, when I go to use it, I can't find it. All right, so this is better now. I think that's much better. So it's flat. So we have one layer of dimensionals. And then our sentiment is going to squeak in, squeeze in right down here. And I'm going to put it, the top of it's going to have adhesive. I'm going to put one dimensional on this side. It's so right here before I forget. All right, and then, so that'll sit like this. So it'll be the same level as the other stuff, right? Yeah, I think that'll go in right there. And I'm going to put some adhesive along the top. And maybe a skinny piece. Use the sides of my dimensionals. Along the bottom. long cut that off okay all right so this is gonna go on right here oh my god this is so cute guys you need to buy this stamp set it is so cute all right I didn't think about what I should put on for dimensionals I mean for decoration it kind of you know what you could do too is you could put what did I do with that other sentiment hang on you could put the sentiment up here too like that that would probably be cute, wouldn't it? What do you think? Where do you guys like it? You like you like the DSP flat too, Karen? I think so. I think it's much better now. Where do you think I should put my sentiment? Because I can take this one off. I kind of feel like that's got it's kind of boring there. So if I don't move the sentiment, I could put some. Um, what do I have handy? I thought I saw some. Yeah, I do have some rhinestones right here. I could put some rhinestones up here, but I'm thinking I want to move my sentiment. Yeah, you agree, Karen? See, it only takes one person to agree with me. Sometimes it doesn't take anybody <laughs> to agree with me. So what I'm going to do is, well, I can use this one now. I'll save that for a different card. Yeah, I think, I think so. I think I like it up here. So I'm going to put adhesive on the bottom. And then I'm gonna cut another skinny piece. And we have um, we have adhesive strips. Mine are just behind me in a bin somewhere, so I'm just gonna cut a piece of the dimensional. 
off. But if you have the adhesive strips, go ahead and use those. All right, so this is going to go on the top now before it was on the bottom. All right. Oh my God. Yes, I think it has to go up top. I think it's much better up top because not that I'm, oh wait, did I do that right? Oh, you know what? This is flat. So it could have been, oh Donna, it, I was thinking it was still up on dimensionals and I had to put the two things. Silly Donna. It's not, remember I changed it. So we can just put dimensionals all the way across. All right. I'm really making more work for myself. <laughs> Karen, you're laughing. I don't know what you're laughing at. Okay. Yes, much better up here. All right, so now we have some... Let's see. Make sure my putty is all set. Where should I put my... Let's see. I think I want to put them in some random spots. Maybe down here. Maybe over here add a little something something oh that came out really cute what do you guys think cute i think it looks very similar to the one in the catalog what do you think very close so see how easy this these three pieces we didn't even stamp however if you wanted to use the stamp set you could use her this the leopard and you could use the, you know, the turtle or the raccoon if you wanted to stamp them. But there are so many animals on this designer's paper. Okay, so that is my Facebook Live. I am going to show you again. If you shop with me and spend $50 before tax and shipping and use my host code U4G24BMB. And it should be in the top of the... You like mine better? Karen, I knew I liked you. <laughs> I kind of like, I like that up top and I don't like, sometimes I like when they cut apart the words, but sometimes I like it all together. So now these were all stamped. I didn't, this isn't a, this is a stamped image. These two, you're too wonderful. Something great to celebrate you with the alligator. He's stamped all mine is stamped, but you could cut him out and he could be cut out too, but I stamped him and colored him the raccoon, and then I stamped and cut out the turtle. So all of these could be cut out of the paper. If you have the paper, you don't have to stamp. But these are my four cards. If you would like them, a kit for free. Shop with me through the 15th this month. I put a link in the description of this Facebook post. I'm going to I'm gonna load this onto YouTube also. So if you're watching on YouTube, you can go ahead and um, just go to my DonnaSingleton.StampinUp.net and use the host code and spend $50 and these will come right to you. They will ship um, after the 15th of the month. All right. Cause I have to wait and see how many people join and then I can, how many people shop and then I can go ahead and cut, cut the kits. All right. So this was today's card and it was just casing the catalog. I did not do anything on the inside, just the front. I think that was enough for today. We did about almost an hour. <laughs> So, if you're interested, please go ahead and shop with me. The Zany Zoo and the um, dyes are called Zany Zoo. Like I said, it cuts out the llama, the alligator, the raccoon, the turtle. No, turtle. And then this is the, um, I guess it's a squirrel. I really, I'm not sure what that, I think it's a squirrel. Chipmunks might be too small to have a bird on their head. <laughs> and... Um, and then the tree, and there's a nice, nice little tag, and there's your balloons, a cloud. This here, um, this looks like an easel of something. I really haven't played with much more than what I showed you already. There's a couple of trees and some flowers. So it's a really good um, die set that goes with this. And I started to name the dies the same as the stamp set. So you'll notice that. A skunk. Oh, is that a skunk? You're probably right because the paper, I was, we did have a skunk in the paper. Hang on, I have to like check this out now because we did see a skunk, didn't we? And you know me with, um, let's see, where was he? I thought I saw a skunk. 
Well, we're looking at these animals again. This one. <laughs> it's so cute. Did we already look at this one? Let's see. Where's the skunk? I could have sworn. Am I imagining it? Oh, no, here we are. You're right, because he's colored in. See? If I just paid attention, Karen. All right, Karen is going to be hired as my Facebook Live assistant. <laughs> All right, folks. So, card class to go, Facebook Live. So, I hope you enjoyed watching me and listening to me ramble on and on. Have an awesome weekend. I'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.